Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yah, everybody. Praise Yah another time. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a, a very, very serious message. This message that I'm about to give, it's not hearsay. Like I got it from a friend, 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 friend or something like that. This is live and in living color. Live and kicking. This is a story that I'm going to tell you that happened today. It's straight from what somebody has observed concerning the et in the pudding we cannot warn anymore i think i think that what you're gonna see is that's gonna happen brothers and sister this warning about the et in the pudding will eventually plateau plateau because I spoke, i've been speaking to the lord about this because i said father i've done almost 120 102 videos or something like that concerning the et in the pudding and what more can we say as watchmen on the war for the Lord? But listen to this very, very keenly, brothers and sisters. This is very important. Yesterday, I think it's the 8th of, um, 8th or the 9th. I always get my dates mixed up together. But yesterday, I think today is what, the 10th? Today is today the 10th or something like that. Um, but yesterday, brothers and sisters, my brother phoned me. And when he phoned, he said to me, sis, call me sister, sis, I want to talk to you about something. And I said, what's up? And he said, I think I'm going to have to give me a job up because the bosses want us to take, he calls it the anti-water, which I'm going to call it that eventually. The bosses want us to take the anti-water, but he said, I'm not feeling it, sis. And I, he said, I don't want that. I said, I don't want that anti-water in my body. Anyway, he went on to say that one of him and uh, his friend and him, uh, him and his friend, um, his work, his colleague, rather, they were talking about the anti-water. They call it anti-water. We call it eating the pudding. But let's call it anti-water for now. So my brother and his friend, his work colleague, good, good friends, they were talking about the anti-water. And my brother was saying to this work colleague, listen, man, just... You know, another one to send us for the stuff. If not, we're going to lose our job, but just wait and see and all of that. So the friend was like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's really, really wicked and all of that. But, you know, I've got kids to feed and I've got bills to pay and all of that. And if I don't work, I can't eat, I can't feed, you know, what of you. So my brother was saying, yeah, I understand that, you know, everybody's in the same position that's going to, eventually lose their work but the anti-water it's it's not good so the friend said to him i'm in two minds i'm in two minds of taking the anti-water so my brother said to him you know just if you're in two minds just don't do it he said just don't take it just wait just wait and see what happened with the jobs and everything like that so the colleague the friend that were talking to my brother he said, he said to my brother, he said, you know, I did go in one of the tents where they were giving out the anti-water. He said, I went to the clinic. He said, I went. He said, I went to the clinic. I sat in there for the anti-water. And he said, like, the Lord just said, get up and go. So he didn't take it. This is what he was telling my brother. He said, I got up out of the clinic and I didn't take the anti-water. And my brother was saying, you know, that's really, really good. So that was the first attempt that he had to take the anti-water and he didn't. Yesterday, he was speaking to my brother, his colleague, and he said to my brother, he said, you know what, I'm going to, I've made my mind up. He said, I don't want it, but for the sake of my job, I'm going to take the anti-water. My brother said to him, please don't. My brother was literally begging him, said, just wait. Wait and see what they say in the job. Yes, they threaten us that we're going to lose it, but wait until they officially come and say, no job, just wait. So this colleague guy said, you know what, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. So he went to the clinic 
And when he went to the clinic, this is the second time now. He sat in the clinic and he was asking a lot of questions. You know, what is it really, what's in it? How is it going to protect this, that? And the people, they couldn't answer him properly. So the second time, he got up out of the clinic and he went his way. He didn't, he didn't take the anti-water. He literally went. He said no. But on his way home, brothers and sisters, he decided to stop at a third clinic. Are you listening? This colleague, my friend's brother, decided to stop at a third clinic. When he stopped at the third clinic, brothers and sisters, he went in, he asked question. They gave him the answer that he thought he needed. He took the anti-water, a.k.a. the E.T. in the pudding. He ate the pudding. Finally, after three attempts, he f and the third attempt, he finally ate the pudding. That was yesterday. This morning when my brother came, went into work, normally when he goes to work, he always sees him. And he knows that, obviously, he's coming to work because on the roster he's not sick or anything. So they're expecting expecting this colleague in work. Brothers and sisters, my brother rang me about 3.30 UK time in the afternoon, 3.30. And my brother said to me, sis, he said, remember that colleague I told you about and I told you that yesterday he was going to take the anti-water? I said, yeah. He said he took the anti-water, but we cannot find him at work when we came to work. I said, really? I said, is he sick? Is he off work? Did he not come in? They said, no. They said, we think he's here, but we just cannot find him. My brother said he decided to go to look for his friend, his colleague. Because he knows that he's here. My brother and a couple other guys, workers, went all around this building to look for this guy that had the anti-water. Brothers and sisters, my brother said that when they finally found the friend, he was literally curled up like a baby in a corner in one of the buildings, in one of the rooms they found him. So they rushed over to him and they said to him, they called his name and said, like they would say, B, I don't know his name because I didn't want to ask really. And they like they would say, B, what's wrong, what's wrong? We've been looking for you all morning. He could hardly talk. And when he finally spoke, he said, after I took the anti-water, he said I became ill. He said, I felt really, really ill, but I still came into work. That's what he said. He said, I just still, you know, I felt like I could manage. So I still came into work, but he couldn't manage. They went and literally found him in a corner. Brothers and sisters, this guy could not even get up. When you talk about weakness and your body is not your own, this is what this guy was experiencing. But they had to take him from out this room to bring him so that he could get some attention. My brother said when they finally got him to stand up, as is, my brother said when you look in his face, his face looks so, he calls it droopy, but it's sickly, just gray and he just looks sick, proper, proper sick, like, at the death's door. But what was shocking about it, my brother said, when they finally got him up and tried to get him to walk, this is where my brother got really, really overwhelmed and terrified. Because he started to explain to me, he said, Kerry, my friend couldn't even walk. He said, oh, I can explain it to you. It's something out of a Turner's movie. These are the words of my, he said it's something, he didn't say Turner's, he said the Z word, but I just say Turner's. He said it's something out of a Turner's movie. I said, what do you mean? He said, my friend was walking like a, a sleeper. He said one foot would not move. He had to literally 
drag. I said, he said, he said to me, he was literally dragging one foot, just dragging, just, oh my God. This is after he's taken the anti-water. This is what the anti-water has done to this guy. This is serious stuff. Brothers and sisters, there's E.T. in the pudding. My brother said everybody just got so like, because what they were seeing in front of them was the guy was not even walking like a human. That's what my brother said. He said, Kerry, he was even walking like, like his walk was not his. It was literally, literally something out of the Walking Dead movie with the dragon and everything like that, like the Turners. Anyway, they managed to get him to a different room. And basically, all this guy wants to do is sleep. He's got no energy. He's, he don't even have energy to hold a cup of tea, nothing. All he wants to do is just sleep. He said, I'm so tired. No energy. Nothing about him. And that walking that he did, brothers and sisters, to manage to walk from that room to a different room where he had to be looked after. I don't even think that it was him that was walking. Because the way how my brother described his walk, that was demonic. That walking that he was doing. And this is where my brother got really overwhelmed. He was frightened, my brother, because of the walk. He was, he was taken back. He, he, his, his hand, his mouth was just open so wide. He was literally taken back from his friend. His friend had three warnings. Well, two warnings, brothers and sisters. The first, the Lord said, don't do it. He went out of the clinic the first time. The second clinic, the same thing, the Lord spoke to him. He went out. But the third time, he override. He override the truth. He, over, he knew in his heart that he shouldn't take this anti-water. He knew it. But he override it with material things. How am I going to feed my children? How am I going to pay the bill? How am I going to eat? And all of that. So all of that accumulate together. He overrid what the Lord was saying to him. Don't take this thing. And he did. And this is what's happening. So I'm waiting for my brother to, to ring me and give me an update. What's happening to him. But... From the last time when I checked, when my brother phoned back, he was still in the same position, weak. Just so weak, he can't walk in. I mean, you know, you hear people who take the E.T. pudding, a.k.a. the anti-water. They'll say, oh, you know, I had a little migraine. There was a little bit of heaviness in my arm. But I had a bit of flu-like symptoms and all of that. But nothing like this. This guy's at death's door and I had to begin to pray. And ask God to have mercy. He might say, and you know, he might say, Sister Karen, but he had warned him three times. That is true. That is true. true three times. But he overrid. He override the voice of the Most High. Because he was fooled and tricked by Satan. And see, he's at death's door, brothers and sisters. I'm praying, I'm praying. I don't know him. But I'm praying that Yah will have mercy. I'm really praying that the Lord will have mercy on this guy. But the fact that the Lord spoke to his heart three times and said, don't do it. And he still went ahead. But the funny thing is that I said to my brother, I said to him, I said, you know, the Lord is showing you what is to come with the walking. I said, God did that on purpose because he want you to see and understand because obviously the pressure in my brother to get the anti-water the et in the pudding and he was saying you know he's not gonna have it but even though he was saying like that and um but this that he saw with his friend he's made up his mind he knows he's not gonna take the anti-water amen aka the et in the pudding but brothers and sisters this thing is serious we've given out so much warnings this the, the, this is not a normal an ET in the pudding. It's not a normal anti-water. It's not, brothers and sisters, it really isn't. And I'm going to do a very powerful video of what to do when this thing begins to happen. 
it is so sad it is it is it is yeah i hope that the friend is okay but disobedience isn't it disobedience it went against the will of the lord and do his own thing um no anti water no eating the pudding should allow you to be like that curl up like a baby you can't walk you're dragging like a turner literally dragging yourself you, you're weak completely weak out you can't even hold a pen your old body's weak and the one that he got the anti-water that he got is the one from britain the a1 that's made in britain the one that causes lots and lots and lots of thick blood yeah that one he had we only can warn brothers and sisters and i just hope that people will take heed okay so i wanted to come if if i know anything about this colleague and the update i will come and i'll do a second video but this is very 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 serious and this happened in um in jamaica this is in jamaica so a lot of people are having side effects but they're not reporting it for some reason so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises. To the Most High, Yah, who lives above the heavens, Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name, amen and amen, amen. Let us say the benediction together. It is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.